us on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever in his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him. Praise our God, all peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from sleeping. I don't know whether you have, you know that Lord has preserved you and me, that we are standing in his presence this morning. Despite the pandemic, you're still standing. And because he has preserved you, you have a reason to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's join together as we, as we praise the Lord. song he has given me he has given me i will pray the lord with all my heart with all my soul i will praise the lord i will sing to him i thank you so he has given me he has given me i will praise the lord with all my heart with all my soul i will praise the lord i will sing to Has given me praise the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul. I will praise the Lord, I will sing to Him. I thank you so. He has given me. Even me
lift him up, 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 lift So how oh, you are so mighty and strong, so mighty, so mighty, lift your voice and say, Oh, so mighty, so mighty, so mighty. Oh, you are so able, so able, so able. I believe you are. witness this morning who can lift up his name who can lift up his name by your own voice by your own sound that you may make sounds of worship this morning that you may lift his name on high that he is highly involved highly exalted above every other name above every everything that you may lift his name on high for he has been so faithful this morning for he has been so faithful this morning for he has been so good to us this morning that you may lift up your voice and worship the Lord in the splendor of his might in the splendor of his might that you may worship you Lord in the mighty name of Jesus besides the pandemic we will worship you Lord besides our weaknesses Lord we will worship you despite our challenges of today we will worship you despite oh God our ups and downs this morning we will lift you despite our baggages this morning we will lift you Lord despite our problems Lord we will lift you Lord we lift you for you are faithful Lord 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 this morning you are faithful Lord this morning Lord you are faithful Lord you are faithful Lord oh, we worship you in the splendor of your mighty Lord you are filled with power you are our healer this morning you sent your word and healed our diseases in the name of Jesus we bless you Lord we bless you Lord You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. 
you have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus. Come on, with your lift, with your own voice, lift him up. You have done. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well. Jesus, with your voice lifted up. time you have done me well say you have done me well you have done me well you have done me well Jesus you have done me well you have done me this morning oh God that you've done us well king of kings you've done us well king of all days you've done us well by loving us oh God you've done us well by making us the remnants of the day Jesus you've done us well king of kings oh God almighty what do we say before your presence this morning oh God we bring to you a sacrifice of worship, oh God. We bring to you a sacrifice of thanksgiving, Jesus. We bring to you a sacrifice of praise, King of Kings. You've done as well, oh God. You've done as well, King of Kings. Our Lord and our Father, we lift your name on the highest, oh God. We exalt your name above all other names, Jehovah. We exalt your name above all kingdoms, King of Kings. We exalt your name above all powers, Jesus. We exalt your name above all rulers of the earth, Jehovah Lord God Almighty. This morning, our Father and our God, we want to acknowledge of whom you are in our lives. We want to acknowledge of your faithfulness, oh God. We want to acknowledge of your greatness, King of Kings. 
our Father and our God. There's none like you, Jehovah Lord God Almighty. There's none like you, blessed Savior. Receive all the praises, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, Jehovah Lord. Receive all the adoration from the deepest of our hearts, King of Kings. Hakuna mungu mwingine kama bebe bwana. Uketie katika kiti cha enzi bwana. Uketie juu sana mfame wa amani. Tunalitukuza na kulihimidi jina lako bwana. Wewe ni wakipekee ewe mfame. Wewe ni mungu mwenye nguvu. Wewe ni mungu muweza yote. Tunalitukuza jina lako ewe bwana. Receive our praises, receive our worship, oh God. Tupate wapi mwingine kama bebe bwana. Tupate wapi mwenye nguvu kama bebe mfame. You are the God and that is your name, my Father. Blessed be your holy name, oh God. Jehovah Lord God Almighty, you are so good to our lives, oh God. And even here we declare and we say you are good, our Father. In our lives we've proved the faithful God. In our families we've proved the Allah loving God. In our nation we have proved the living God. Jehovah Lord God Almighty this morning we bow before your presence Jehovah. We lift our hearts and our hearts and our voices to you O God and we declare that you are worthy O God. Holy, holy as you Lord God Almighty receive all the praise, receive all the worship O God. Hakuna mungu mwingine kama bebe bwana. Unayetawala kwa nguvu na uweza bwana. Unayetawala kwa mamulaka ewe mfame. Tunakuwa budu, tunakuwe shimu mfame. And God our Father, this morning we want to be far, we bow before your presence, O oh God. And in our humility, our Father and our God, we decrease in your presence, O oh God. As we confess our sins before your presence, Jesus. And we pray, King of Kings, by your love, O oh God. And by your loving kindness unto our lives, King of Kings. By your mercy, Jehovah Lord God Almighty, may you remember us, O oh God. May you forgive us, O oh God. May you make our hearts your are, you are dwelling place oh god come and make our hearts your home jesus come and make our dwelling place in us jehovah in the name of jesus christ dear father almighty we give you praise we give you glory we give you worship king of kings to assemble hakuna mungu kama bebe bwana our god and our father this morning want to commit this service before your presence oh god we pray the fullness of your grace oh god we pray for the fullness of your Holy Spirit and your anointing, O oh God. We pray for your presence, Jesus, King of Kings. Come and do us good, my Father. Come and minister to our hearts, O oh God. Minister to our lives, Jesus. Our Father and our God, we are earning more of you this morning, O oh God. Our Father and our God, we wait on you. We wait on you, King of Kings. We wait on you, Jehovah Lord God Almighty. We wait on you in our lives, Jehovah. We wait on you in our families, King of Kings. We wait on you in our nation, O oh God. We wait on you in all that entails us, O oh God. We can't do it without you, King of Kings. When we're talking about God, Nagederu. When we're talking about God, we're talking about Jehovah. Modo ini modo ni wetu ergenera muda maki hari anak gorosi turosi nerawa modo. Father, come and heal the broken hearted, O oh God. Come and heal the broken hearted this morning, O oh God. Jesus, Jesus, we wait on you. We need you more than before, O oh God. We need you, King of Kings. We need you, Holy Spirit of God. Let your will be done, O oh God. In our lives, let your will be done, O oh God. In our church, let your will be done, King of Kings. We give you your very place, O oh God. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. Reign, Jesus, reign. We surrender all land to you. We surrender all land to you, O oh God. May your will be done in our lives, King of Kings. 
We want to come into our church before your presence, O oh God. Our Father and our God, reign Jesus, reign. Reign Jesus, reign. In our families, O oh God. In our workplaces, King of Kings. Reign Jesus, reign. Our Father and our God, this morning we want to bring the eight before your presence, O oh God. The sick King of Kings. The prisoners, O oh God. The less fortunate, O oh God. Our God and our Father, we bring them unto you, O oh God. You are our Father, O oh God. You are our God, King of Kings. Come and visit us. Come and visit us, O oh God. Our Father and our God, we come in the ministry of the Lord before your presence, O oh God. We speak your anointing and your favor unto him, O oh God. May you minister to him and to us, O oh God. We pray for the utterance of the Holy Spirit this morning, O oh God. Come and fill us with your power, O oh God. Fill him with your power, O oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, dear Father Almighty, we want to declare victory over everything that we're going to do, O oh God. We want to declare victory in our lives, O oh God. We want to declare victory in our nation, O oh God. Father, let your will be done. We are yearning all of you, O oh God. Come and dine with our hearts, O oh God. Come and teach us, O oh God. Come and bless us, O oh God. Come and lift us, O oh God. Come and heal us, O King of Kings. Come and give us peace, O oh God. Come and enlarge us, King of Kings. Lord, we wait on you and we look upon you, O oh God. In everything, we look upon you, O oh God. We look upon you, O oh God. In Jesus' holy name, this is our prayer of faith. We pray. Amen. Amen. Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As if we should trespass against us. Lead us not temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes, are we blessed to this far? Yes, we are blessed and uh, we thank God because he has been faithful unto us. So at this juncture, and uh, I would, it's time that uh, we hear people present and uh, I just have a presentation from uh, Brother Christopher. Karibu sana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Live it and I'm very humble to serve God in your midst. I'm called Kagai Christopher, all day from Uganda, Kampala, PCA Church. I'm a member of PCA. Hallelujah. And currently, my reverend is Sir Apollo Samuel Kiwuki. Hallelujah. Is my reverend. I thank God. I'm here at Dagoretti. I'm working at Tilum. But because of this epidemic, they stopped me. Uh, I'm a tailor. I'm a designer. So I'm there at Dagoretti, just seated. So you can support me. If you have a job, you can give me. I'm a tailor. I can design every, every fashion. Hallelujah. Yeah. And I need your support because right, right now my landlord is demanding me four solid months. And any time is going to put a padlock. So you can stand with me. Hallelujah. Give me a song and I serve my God. I'm married with four children, one wife. They are there in Uganda. They have sent greetings to you. Yes. Mama. <laughs> 
mbali Tunaitaki jua mungu Na watu wote Tunaitaki jua mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Tuniani Tunaitaki jua mungu Na watu wote Tunaitaki jua mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Mama we Tunaria Tunie naria Watoto wanaria Wa mama wanaria Kwa sababu tuli wachamu Kwa nari tupenda Kutoka binguni yote Tumeona Upendo waka mungu Hakuna mwingine Hakuna mwingine kama we Tuniani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wote Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Tuniani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wote Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Kulirucha tulida Tuari kakatunda idaida Tutambula nga wetu enda monsi Wakubanti tuwa mure kwa nage Mokango kuwa kulu mire mire Ya tuenda, tuenda, tuenda Ya tuenda Ya sindi kwa mwana wa Yesu Oyo Yesu Tuwe na obu na mwagu tawawo Tuhine yaani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wote Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Tuniani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wate Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Turudi kwa kwana Ame tungoje ya muta mrefu Hakuna mungine kama we Alitupenda kama we Mimi takuinua Takuwa kutu wa baba we Tunia yote Itakuwa butu Mirele na mirele Tuniani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wote Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Bila usaidisi Tuniani Tunaita tujue mungu Na watu wote Tunaita tujue mungu Tuko na misiko Yeah.
Thank you very much. May God bless you. Tumpige makofi vizuri. Amen. Barikiwa sana, Brother Christopher. Yes. Let us all desire that we may know God because it is his will that we know him. Yes, we thank God. Yes, because he has been a faithful father. He has been a faithful God. He is faithful through the ages. So if your strength is failing, if you feel weak, stop relying on your strength. Rely on the strength of God. Do not rely on your own strength. Do not rely on your righteousness. Rely on the righteousness of Jesus. Because as a matter of fact, our righteousness is like filthy rags before the Lord. But when you rely on Jesus Christ, he that was sent to die for you, at that time when you are dead in your transgressions, he that loved you, even when you are unloved, he that gave you mercy, even when you did not deserve it, rely on him who is able to save you and to keep you from falling and to present you before the glorious the glorious day of our father when he comes back so rely on that god because he is faithful through the ages he has been faithful he is faithful and he'll continue to be faithful and even if you feel that you are not loved remember he tells you that he loves you. He reminds you day in, day out that he loves you. So just feel you are loved. Even if people tell you that you're not loved, know that there is a God who loves you. The God who created the heavens and the earth loves you. Yes, and he has a good plan for you, according to Jeremiah 29 verse 11. So remember that. Do not worry about the pandemic. Do not worry about anything. Keep yourself safe. But as well, remember that the Lord is protecting you from all forms of evil. And he will keep you till the last day. Yes, at this time, I will want to welcome our elder, Shehe, to pray for the children. Yeah, uh, I would like us to stand up so that we pray for our children. Yeah, even the children who do for, if you, if you are watching us from home, praise uh, even for the children, you can stand. We pray together. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we bow before you this morning. We thank you, Jehovah Father, for your love that you have shown unto us, Jehovah King of Glory. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for your goodness in our lives. Thank you for the amazing grace that you have seen, Jehovah Father, extending in our lives. We thank you for this beautiful day, Jehovah God, that you have given unto us. So that, Jehovah Father, we receive from you. We hear your hand. And therefore, Jehovah Father, O God, we thank you, Jehovah Father, O God. We pray, Jehovah Father, O God, that you may give us the contract heart, Jehovah Father, O God. A heart which is apologetic before you, Jehovah King of Glory. A heart that goes and surrenders unto you, Jehovah Father, O God. Thank you, Jehovah Father, for our children, for those, Jehovah Father, they are watching us from their homes. Jehovah Father, O God, we pray, Jehovah God, that you may Bless them, Jehovah Father of God. May you continue doing good unto their lives, Jehovah Father of God. Jehovah King of Glory, we pray, Jehovah Father of God. May you save them at this difficult time, Jehovah Father of God. Against all the crooked, Jehovah Father of this world. We pray, Jehovah Father of God, for this children, Jehovah Father of King of Glory. That you may teach them, Jehovah Father of God. Show them the right path, Jehovah Father of God. Teach them the right, Jehovah Father of God. Teach them honest, Jehovah Father of God. Show them, Jehovah Father, the issues, Jehovah Father, of being fair in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, O oh God. We speak, Jehovah Father of oh God, the blessing, Jehovah Father, in their lives. This morning, Jehovah Father of oh God. There are those, Jehovah Father, at their home, Jehovah Father, 
They could be unwell. Jehovah King of Glory, you are the best and the, the closest physician, Jehovah Father, in our lives. Heal them, Jehovah Father, O God. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. Jehovah King of Glory, even at this time, Jehovah Father, O God, that they are doing their Sundays at home, Jehovah. We pray, Jehovah God, that they may continue growing, even in knowledge and even in wisdom, Jehovah Father, O God. Let them grow, being a children, Jehovah Father, according to your purpose in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. We cannot forget the appearance, Jehovah Father, O God. Bless them, Jehovah Father, O God. As they move around, Jehovah Father, seeking and working for the silver of this world, Jehovah Father, O God. May you bless them, Jehovah Father, O God. Let the parents never lack, Jehovah Father, O God, so that they have something to feed their children. In the name of Jesus Christ, O God. We declare this morning they are blessed of you. And it's in the name of Jesus Christ that we do pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yes, I'm feeling happy because I'm in the presence of our Father. So, and I hope you're also feeling rejoiced because God is a good God. He's a good Father. And he is father, he's the father of our spirits. So let us remember that. That you have a father who loves you and knows you by your name. In fact, your name is written on his palm. He knows you as you go and knows you as you come back. So rely on that father, the father of your spirit. Thank you. We bless the Lord for this far. Karibu sana el Dambogua. Even as you welcome the guests and also give us the announcements. Tumpigia makofi ya napo kuja. Bona sifiwe? Bona sifiwe. It is a good day to be in the presence of the Lord and we worship and glorify his name. My name is Mbogu Amboro, I am born again, and I love the Lord as my personal savior. Now, tuko na wageni leo, visitors, if you are fellowshipping with us for the first time, can you raise your hand? Fellowshipping with us for the first time? Hatuna wageni. Kwa wale wata ambao pia tuko nyumbani, welcome to the house of the Lord. May you feel at the feet of Jesus. This is a church where everybody is somebody we thank the lord for that now uh i am receiving messages even from uh, our online platform that uh, people have been blessed by the presentation by christopher and uh if you wish to support him uh his number will be scrolling on the screen is uh, 0793 it will be scrolling on the screen uh 0793 so once again, it's 0793-624227. Uh, bless him, and uh, the Lord is going to abundantly increase you. Now, uh, we will get quickly into our announcements. Uh, we are receiving some thanks from the family of Frederick Njenga Kemani, who are thanking us because of how we stood with uh, them when they had lost their loved one, Daniel Kemani Jenga. So receive that uh, uh, from the family of uh, Daniel Kemani Jenga. That is on by the family representative, Frederick Jenga Kemani. Uh, number two, uh, PCMF will be having a webinar. Kwa uh, wale ambao, we are technologically uh, uh, challenged. Webinar ni seminar ambayo tunafanyia kwa computer. So, si kama ile tunayendanga kwa... <laughs> Kwa a setting or a hotel, we will be having a webinar, uh, PCMF, from 8.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. We are very privileged that we will be joined by our parish minister, who is uh, equally present with us uh, today. Uh, very welcome. Uh, and uh, the link will be sent by the PCMF chair, who is equally with us today. So let us join together as we fellowship and get in touch together uh, as PCMF from 8.30 p.m., uh, from onwards, we will have a glorious time. Now, uko mtaani wanasemanga hii baridi nataka watu wawili, moja wakupika chai na mgini wakuendea mkate. 
lakini kwa hapa kwa kanisa kwa sababu hatuna chai hatuna mkate tutasimama ili tuweze kutafuta joto kidogo kama na make it present e announcement nyingine tusimame we had done a dress rehearsal last week now kwa wale ambao hawakuweko sisi ambao tumezaliwa Mombasani tunaimba hivi tuna, tunashika vidole hivi sawa sawa shika vidole hivi kama unarinda nili nilisahau kusema jana uh, uh, wiki iliyopita rinda ni dressi dressi wala mama wanavalia dressi eh? kama we ni John usishike hauna rinda hauna <laughs> aya kama unarinda lishike namna hii aya sawa so, tumeshika hivi wanawake tumeshika tumeshika rinda Ah, DJ wangu twende. Proclamation of marriage bans there is a purpose of marriage between our elder Donald Wamba Itotia of PCA Baraka Kihumo Parish I should hear cheer na vigelegele nikisema jina lake hata nisome tena pengine mkusikia there is a purpose of marriage between elder Donald Wamba Itotia of PCA Baraka Kihumo Parish Haijatosha mboga there is a purpose of marriage between Elder Donald Wamba Itotia of PCA Baraka Kihumo Pare and Sister Anne Nyambura Wawero of PCA Sabab Nakuru West Parish. Anyone of sound mind with any objection to this marriage should say so before the 29th of August 2020. If there is no valid objection, if no valid objection is raised and substantiated, the two will be joined in holy matrimony in accordance with the practices of the church on Saturday 28th of August at 10:30 a.m. at PCA Sabab Church Nakuru uh, may the lord bless those who are uh, to be joined in holy matrimony that is from reverend edward n ladigi who is the parish minister nakuru west parish this is the second time that we are making this uh, announcement and uh, further to that we are still continuing on with our plans that we will support our elder and uh, we will do that in our respective groups and districts and i hope that is going on very well and the Lord is, go is going to continue to bless us as we also make plans uh, even to support him on the material day. So may the Lord bless you. Uh, that is all that had reached the registrar's desk. And I wish you a blessed week. God bless you. Amen. We thank God for the announcements. Thank you, Elder. So let us adhere even uh, to our announcements. So before we continue to our readings, I'll invite Elder Ndavi to pray for the offerings. Tusimame, tuombe sadaka. Uh, and for those who are joining us for the first time today, uh, the tradition ya kuleta hapa mbele, imesimama kidogo. So we will pray for the offering, put it in your envelope, uh, include your B number, and then while you are leaving, there is a box there. You shall drop it as you go home and you shall be blessed. Wacheni tuombe. Father Lord, we want to thank you because you have been so gracious to us, O oh God. The Lord, even at this time when uh, people are going through different challenges, Jehovah King of Glory, even when people are losing jobs, even when uh, the situations has not been good economically, God, we want to acknowledge that, Lord, we have seen you because you have been our provider and you have been our help. We come before thee, O oh Lord, to bring this offering and even tithe Jehovah King of Glory as a sign, Jehovah, King of glory, of our gratitude to you, O oh God. And we want to pray that, Lord, you may continue blessing us, Jehovah, King of glory. We want to remember those who may have lost jobs among us. The Lord, through that offering, that you shall remember them, and the Lord God, you shall open doors for them, O oh God. We want to pray, Jehovah, Lord, for those tithes, Jehovah, King of glory, 
that, oh, Lord God, you may increase them and even give them favor even in their workplaces, Jehovah Lord. May we hear of testimonies out of this giving that we do today. For this we pray, believe, and trust in, in your holy name. Amen. May we have a seat. So, take this opportunity to invite Faith Maingi to lead us in the first reading. Our first reading will come from the book of Isaiah 43, from verses 1 to 7. Isaiah 43, 1 to 7. And our second will come from Psalms 139, 1 to 6. Faith. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord again. Uh, I'm blessed of the Lord this morning. And here is the, is the readings. It comes from the book of Isaiah 43, 1 to 7. We read 1. But now, O Jacob, listen to the Lord who created you. O Israel, the one who formed you says, Do not be afraid, for I have ran ransomed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Two, when you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, I will, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned up. The flames will not consume you. Three, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior. I give Egypt as a ransom for your freedom. I give Ethiopia and Seba in your place. For others were given in exchange for you. I traded their lives for yours because you are precious to me. You are honored and I love you. Five, do not be afraid for I am with you. I will gather you and your children from east and west. Six, I will say to the north and south, bring my sons and daughters back to Israel from the distant corners of the earth. Seven, bring all, bring all who claim me as their God for I have made them for my glory. It was it was I who created them. Barikiwe I'm Fid Mangi and I'm saved. Good morning. Are you happy and blessed? My name is Johnson. I'm ready. Our our registrar was confirming whether I'm a youth. I want to confirm I'm a youth. <laughs> and a happy youth who is saved, who loves Jesus. We will do our second reading, which comes from the book of Psalms. Psalms 139, from chapter 1 to chapter 6. I hope all of us are there. Oh Lord, you have exam examined my heart. And you know everything about me. You know when I sit down or stand up. You know my thoughts. When I am far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say even before I say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Verse 6. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. Keep on being blessed. Amen. So as we prepare our hearts that we may listen from the Lord, we will sing hymn number 82, page 107. Let us be ready even to listen to our Father because he has something for us. Jesus 
to make in that for the 6 to 13 we, we need we need to develop some protocol yeah because these are children uh, these are kids 
and you know it is quite difficult to control them. So maybe for those who may have them, uh, they, we, may, we might have to wait for a while as the church advises and we develop ways and means because the teachers are the, the, the church school, those are church school kids. The teachers also have to be prepared as to how to contain them. And also, you know that the challenges, and that's why kids are not going to school. If they are not going to school, and they are, sub, they are now to congregate at uh, Kwakanisa, that is a challenge. If the, you, you realize the ministry is also hesitant, and it wants to do something that I had the minister uh, talk about the other day, because it is difficult to control kids. However, we would want to... Um, as a church, we would also want to ensure that whatever is needed is taken care of. For those, do we, do we have any visitors? Oh, he, your visitor? Eh? Oh, you, this is your first time. My name is Kibara. And um, I thank God uh, because I have the testimony that Christ is Lord in my life. And uh, I've continued to wait upon our Savior, Jesus Christ, uh, so that whatever he's promised me as a servant, as a child who has confessed him as Lord in my life, whatever awaits me, I look forward to that time when he shall be revealed at the end of it all. And go to live with them uh, for days without a name. That's my joy this wonderful day. It's been a while. Some of you have not met. And um, we're still trying to tell people, let me say that one of the things that we are to strive to us is to assure people that the church is safe. For those who may be hesitant to come to church because of the risks that are there, the risks of transmission, the church has strived a lot to deal with them through whatever we have measures that we have done. You have, the other time I expounded on them, the church has developed ways to ensure that when you come here, there is nobody who should come to that through the gate. As long as you are in this compound, you are supposed to have your masks on. Praise in worship, I still challenge you. Do not remove your masks when you praise. Anyoni? Izo mnafa muenazo. So long as you are here. By the way, you also realize now the weather is cold. And you know scientists are telling us that with the cold weather, the virus is, uh, the, the spread of the virus, they, 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 they provide a conducive environment. And you know, you can even see, kama sasa ukiwa unatembea asubui, ukiwa na mtu wakienda anahema, kama hana mask, si unaona white, si unaona. You know, those are droplets from the mouth, <laughs> which form the mist when they come in contact with the cold air. That is simple science. So let us not let us be let us be careful. So that whatever else we do as a church of Christ, we have that guarantee that the church is safe. Sanitize, wash your hands for as long as you are within the compound. Anybody coming here, wash your hands, put on your mask, keep social and physical distance. Yes. Keep. These things are not, they don't belong to me. They don't belong to the church. They don't belong to the, they belong to you. These precautions. Please, whatever you do, ata hii mambo ya kuenda kumuwa nguwa nila. language. We might have to learn it now. Ababu sasa atuwa nani mdomo? 
So, please, I beseech you in the mercies of God. This thing is, you can't straight away. You can also see statistics. I know we, as Christians, we are supposed to have faith. But knowledge also comes from God. It is God who has given us the knowledge to contain this. Kwa hivyo, tutaendelea kuzungumza hayo maneno until uh, we are totally safe. So please, I beseech you as Christians be on the front line. Maintain those distances. Avoid the social gatherings. Avoid unnecessary travels when you can. And above everything else, make your self and your neighbor safe. That is the, what I can tell you for now. But soon and very soon, we trust that uh, we, will, we will have those protocols for our little kids. But if one, should you do anything, but the, uh, sorry, I just want to add that uh, the responsibility, number one, belongs to you as a parent, by the way. The responsibility of the security and the, 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 the health, the safety of your kid, number one, belongs to the parent. It's the parent. Usitake wako aende ya kacheza kwa sababu ya wengine wanacheza. Eh? It is you to ensure that your child remains safe as a parent. Eh? So that even when we start watoto wakikuja, the first responsibility itakuwa kwako ukiwa uh, 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 mzazi kwa sababu hivyo divo inafaa. Now, um, very briefly, I would want us to get to the um, uh, to the uh, sermon of the day. Just want to remind you that this month I don't know whether I've, have I appeared here this month in Baraka. I haven't. Oh. Sorry, let, let me just um, uh, remind you that this, this month, the month of August, we are generally dealing with embracing God's love. We are embracing God's love, and specifically, we would want to invite people to reflect on God's love. That God loves us. Last week, I remember we were talking about rest for the weary. You did. Yeah? I suppose. Oh, oh. The last time was, it was Bridget. Oh, it's the, it was the other one. Rest for the weary. I, did, you, I think you did that with our evangelist. Yeah? That, was, that is what we were dealing with. Today, we're going to deal uh, with now, from God's perspective, now, with what we are saying that it is, the topic is, God knows me. Or God knows you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mungu anakujua. Na, niseme ya kwamba ni fesuri kujulikana na mungu. Um, when, our, when our third president took over from the second president in Kenya who had overstayed, we, I, I met this friend of mine who was a policeman. He was with the administration police. Immediately after the, 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 the president was was sworn in. I think it was the following day. I met him. As we were chatting, he told me, you know what? I was supposed to report on duty today, but I'm not going on to report. 
I asked him why. He told me, you know, eh, kwa sababu mkubwa wangu, unawajua police wanaitanga, wanaitananga mkubwa. Kwa sababu mkubwa wangu, eh, <laughs> alikuwa wa hiyo chama ambayo ilishindwa. Sasa, nikienda kesho, nitamuambia, nilikuwa nimeenda state house to congratulate president kwa sababu ni wakutoka kwetu. Na akiniuliza, nitamuambia, ah, kama uamini, chukua simu, hidi yo namba yake mpigie. <laughs> Apigie president sasa. Amulize kama mlikuwa na... Eh? <laughs> well, well, of course, that was stretching the joke too far. But what he wanted to show is this. For as long as he says, yeah, kusema tu, ya kuamba, the president knows him. Hiyo tu, hiyo inamsimamia. Hafaiku, hata hafai kujulikana na president, ni kusema tu, president anamuju? Anamujua. Of course, aki kuambia hivyo, can somebody, askari anaweza enda pigia president kweli. So, so, that was a sense of security for not going back to work when he was supposed to. And now, as we do our exposition today, God in Isaiah chapter... Th no, sorry, sorry. In Psalms... Chapter one, the, the one that we read as the as the as the as the court worship, it was. Eh? It was Psalms, chapter one thirty nine. O Lord, you have searched me, and and you know me. Hallelujah. Now, if we were talking, we, if that, that man was talking about his security, his job security, being assured because the president knows him, which of course was not true. Now, then, how much security would you be assured of if you are known by God? You get what we are saying here? That God... The first thing in, in, in this in, in this psalm is that God demonstrates his power by directing your life. God demonstrates his power to you by demonstrating your action, your thoughts, your directions. That is what verse 2 here says. That, O oh God, O oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down. And we are acquainted, and you are acquainted with all my ways. That is who God is to you. Buona as if you were. So, you have such a relationship because by saying that God knows you, it is a relationship. Hello? You know, you cannot know or be known by somebody who you do not know, who, who, with whom you do not have a relationship. Najua watu wanaenda kutafuta, watu wakiwa na shida. We are very fond of that as Africans. Mtu wanakuja na kuliza, hey, I want to go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Do you know somebody there? See, that is what we kawaida do. Yeah? 
Tunauliza, tunasema tunauliza, do you know somebody? Ordinarily, we do not ask, does somebody in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs know you? Because that would be that would be even more important than you knowing somebody. You get what I'm saying? So we are talking not of God who we know, but God who knows us. How precious it is to be known by the King of Kings. If we are looking for somebody who we know, who knows us, not just our earthly leaders, but their leader who happens to be God. So when God knows us, he directs our thoughts, right? He directs our actions. He directs our path to ensure that we do not go astray. Bwana asifiwe. Si wakati tunaomba tunasema hivi. Do not lead us into temptation. That is because when God directs your ways, he will not lead you into temptation. And even if for any reason you are to get into temptation, he will show you a way out of it. Hallelujah. That is what Corinthians, Paul in Corinthians says. Because it is God who leads us in all ways. We will not fall into temptations. Our actions will be the right actions. Such that we do not go doing things that we do that later we will fight ourselves in problems that we regret. Because God cannot make you go into ways doing things that you regret. Or even your thoughts. God's, the other verse, verse 3 to 4, talks about God directing our speech. Verse 3 and 4. The things that you talk about, the things that you speak about, they are godly things. As a Christian, when God directs your thoughts, your speech, you are able to avoid obvious things, obvious sins, like lies. Huh? You know, to lie is a sin. Yes. Lakini unajua, kuna watu ya nasema, tuwongo, tuwongo kidogo, wakisema ni tuwa kujikalisha. And let me tell you lying, lying, was part of the sins that enticed the fall of man. The devil wanted, pushed Eve into lying. And by the way, if you like lying, you have a huge spiritual battle to fight. I don't know as a Christian. As a Christian, one of the sins that a Christian should not be associated with is lies. You know what? Because when you lie once, you'll be forced to lie a second time. To support the first lie. And the second lie is usually bigger than the first one. I, I don't know whether you get what I'm saying. James talked about lies. The Proverbs, Proverbs the, the writer of Proverbs says that there are six things that God hates that are 
just detestable to him. And one of them is what? A lying tongue. Ni mungu tu. And by the way, if you find yourself being a perpetual liar, you need deliverance. And you know there are people, including, including Christians, who are labeled. Unambiwa, hey, ngania, so hadi so, diya mese maivo. That is definitely a lie. I tell you, the Bible refers to the devil as who? The father of, if you are a perpetual liar, you have rented, or is it hired, your tongue to the devil. And it is the devil who uses it. Whenever you find something going wrong in any organization, including the church, whenever you see something that is not working in your district, or in your deacon zone, whenever you fight what you are nakorogana in your place of work, ama kwa kanisa kama hi, there is always a liar around you. So, lies, lies are bad. In fact, lies can bring down a church like this one. Kwa hivyo, wale ambao wakona hiyo Shida ya kuzungumza. God says that in verse 3 and 4, he talks about your tongue. It, the words that come out of your mouth. Because God knows you, he directs everything you see. <coughs> Excuse me. In fact, the psalmist here says that he directs your words before you utter them. Hello? Yes. So, Ukiona mtu ambaye anazungumza uongo. Huyu, huyo hawajuani na mungu. Huyo haongozwi na mungu. Huyo anaongozwa na shetani. So, he directs you, are, you avoid lies. You avoid threats. There are many things I can talk about here. Sins that are associated with words that come from your mouth. Curses. A Christian never curses. Unajua kuna wakati nina hubili, nina sikia kusema maya agai. Di watu wa sikia vini nasema. Mudu muhono kuli, dakiru mwana mudu. You cannot curse. You cannot impute you know, one any, or till any motive, any bad motive to another person if you are safe. Because what, words have power. Hello? Especially words pronounced by a servant of God. Words pronounced by somebody who is connected with God. You cannot threat. Uh, you cannot threaten somebody. You cannot do that. In anything, God, if you, God, one test of knowing whether God knows you and directs you is to say, to know what comes from your mind, from your mouth. And of course, what comes from your mouth, as the mind is, so the, the mouth is picketh. Let me say this. Somebody who is connected with God and has a good relationship with God, you're supposed to be talking things that are firm, things that uplift, things like that bring forth praise to God, things that, you know, they bless, ones that bless, not curse, ones that encourage. Not discourage. Huh? 
The other thing, the, th the third thing, I I've talked about two things now. The demonstration of power by God knowing you. The second one is directing you, directing your speech, directing your thoughts, directing everything. Ndipo kila pahali unapitia kwa leli. Unajua leli, gari ya moshi inaenda, haiendi kando kando kwa sababu ya kupitia kwa leli. If you are connected, if God knows you, always utakuwa unapitia kwa leli ambayo is defined by God. The third thing is that God demonstrates how much he knows you because he is omniscience and omnipresent. Hallelujah. That is what verse 6 to 7 says. It says that... Um, My, oh, yes. Such knowledge is too wonderful to me. It is I, I cannot attain it. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? God is all-knowing. God knows everything about you. The secret behind you being known by God is that God knows you more than you know yourself. That is what it means by saying that God is omni, or omniscient. Or is it omni, it is the same as science. I don't know how we pronounce it, omniscient. Omniscience, whatever. God knows everything about you. And God is also omnipresent. Wherever you are, God knows. I, I hear, I hear always, what you are Wezi kumdanganya nani? Mungu, sidivo. Kwa nini tutasema ya kwamba hawezi kumdanganya mungu? Ni kwa sababu mungu anakujua. Mungu anakujua kuliko vile unajijua. There are some things Christians we refer to as attributes of God. I, I think in Mesoma here. There are some things we refer to as the attributes of God. When you say God is love, God is merciful, God is gracious, God is See, there are many things that we say about God. See, now, there are those that go attributes that God shares with human beings. But these two that are here, the issue of God being omniscient and being God omnipresent, God does not share that power with man. And you know what? His ability to know everything and his being everywhere, as we have seen here, is actually what makes God always be protective and it is what assures you of God's protection. He knows you. He knows what will happen next in next minute to you so god is able to take care of that situation before it comes to you let me tell you christians you may not know but in this life we are told that we are we are in battle and there are very many battles that are fought for you and on your behalf, but you don't, you don't know because they never get to you. Am I talking to somebody? People will give you testimonies of what was supposed to happen to them, but it never happened to them because they were under a certain perfect protection. 
usually comes from God. So, we are assured of God's salvation. And in fact, as Christians, let me say that as far as these attributes of God, the omniscience and omnipresence is concerned. This is what makes us Christians trust the God and learn to trust the God because there is nothing there is nothing that will harm us that will come to us because of that protection. And that is what Isaiah is talking about. Isaiah says, fear not for I am with you. Hallelujah. That is God, that is God saying that. Fear not for I am with you. There is no harm. There is no danger that will come to you because you are assured of the redemption. Redemption that comes from the perfect redeemer who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Fear not, for I am, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you pass through rivers, they will not overwhelm you. Hallelujah. God will protect you and he will give you that protection that comes from you. Just rely on God. Not from human beings. Hallelujah. I, I remember one day when I was serving in Northeastern, uh, I, I decided to, to go at the walk around along the, the banks of River Tana. And I felt well. Let, let me go and watch crocodiles and hippopotamus. There's, there's a place we used to watch them. But what I realized is that even when there were crocodiles and hippop are they hippopotamus or hippopotamus in the river, there is like a tribe in, in Tana River called the Malokote. Sijui kama mewasikia. Wanaitua Malokote. They were swimming. So I went and asked them, a group of them who were there, I asked them, now, don't you fear? And you can okay, I would also want to get into the river. Okay, I would also want to get into the river. And the and hippopotamus were there. Did I, you think I did it? So, <laughs> but they were swimming. So I asked them, why do you do that? Wakaniambia, when those crocodiles attack one of them, what they do, everybody jumps into the water. Wakisikia moja ameshikwa na crocodile, kila moja anaruka kwa maji, about more than a hundred of them. And by the time they are through with that crocodile, haina macho, they got out of out the macho with their fingers until it releases one of them. So I asked, them, you, you mean if, if I do it now, aniyeshike diva mutafanya? So, but you see, what surprised me is that there was they were talking with such confidence huh? that, and you know also, when I was there, I used to have a program. I was, I was sponsored by this, there's an organization called, is it Jaipur? Jaipur. 
Jipul, 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 it had given me limbs. I used to give limbs to them, artificial limbs. Because that time, many people in Northeastern and Rivatana, they never had limbs. They all had missing limbs. I used to give them. It's part of the causes of they are not having limbs or a crocodile bites. Na unajua diyo wananiambia ni ingie sababu watanisaidi. Fine. They used to do it fine because I also had people who had been rescued from crocodile bites. But I wanted to say this. If those malokote, when I malokote, if you go around at Tana River, wanakuyanga huko, it's a small tribe. If, 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 if people can talk about protection with that confidence, with such confidence, how much does this God who knows us, how much will he protect us? If those malokotes had that trust and that confidence, of their pro protecting one of them, how much trust should we have with our God that he will protect us because he knows us? Hallelujah. So, our confidence is supposed to be multiple, more times than the Malokotes. Because according to, um, to, to, to this uh, Isaiah, God is our only savior, our only redeemer. Hallelujah. That's the fourth thing I'd want to say, that God is our only savior. He knows us so that he saves us. Isaiah 43 verse 1 on, he is ours, he is our protection, and we are supposed to depend on him in simple faith. Hallelujah. This time when we are talking about COVID, I can say this. That is when we need God's protection more than any other time. That is when we need that is when we need God more than more than any other time. We need God to direct our ways and protect us because he is God who knows us and whatever good comes from us, he will deal with it and protect us. And the last thing that we are supposed to know is that this protection is assured. Hallelujah. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. The Isaiah chapter 48, oh, sorry, 43, verse 3 to 4, God really wants to assure us that my people, it is me who was with you when you came from Egypt. I'm the one who ransomed you from the Kush. I'm the one who ransomed you from the Egyptian. As yet assured that my protection is perfect. I being your God because I know you and I know you by name. Doesn't matter what you are going through. Doesn't matter what circumstances may be working against you. But one thing I want to assure you is this. Because God knows you by name. He will perfectly protect you. And whatever he has said about you, do not fear, for God is with you. To Simame. I want to pray with you. Just raise up your hand. You may be going through certain issues that may be a threat to you. But one thing that I would want you to embrace is that God 
knows you because God is omniscient and is omnipresent. He knows what you are going through. And because he does, trust that it is only him who can save you from what you are going through. God, in your masses, you can see that raised hand, that brother, that sister, who is going through difficulties, through issues in his life, in his place of work, in his family. You can see that sister who has been crying to you. She's shed so many tears. And God, you are assuring her at this moment, because you know her by name, you are going uh, to uh, redeem her. Look at that family. Look at that young mother who is going through difficulties. Look at that young couple who are going through difficult times. God, because you know us, because you know them, dear Lord, we pray that whatever you have said in your words, in Psalms chapter 139, Isaiah chapter 43, may, it come, may they come to pass in the name of Jesus. May your redemption be assured for them at this particular time. May their relationship with you be that one that is perfect, be that one that moves, that goes with them, with your people, dear Lord, with those that you love, with those that you have called, with those that you have chosen, so that at the end of it all, glory, goodness, and shall be unto you, world without an end. Look at, our, at your people. Look at Baraka Church. Look at Kehumo Parish. With your, with your eyes that are gracious, that are merciful, so that your people shall walk, shall go uh, about their businesses when they know that you, they are known by the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. We thank you, we exhort you, because you are doing wonderful and mighty things to your people in this congregation, in this parish, to your people that know you. In Jesus' name we pray. May the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in knowledge of the love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you, be with you in your places of work, in your families, and remain with you now and forevermore. Amen.
Mungu bila wewe tutashindwa Solomon Getonga, I'm born again, and I thank the Lord even for this far. Thank you even for you who are watching us at home. May you be blessed and have a fruitful week. May God bless you. Yeah.